Good morning. Uh, today uh, I'm not out for uh, the hunt for the perfect image, but I'm looking for uh, these guys here, blueberries. Uh, this time of the year uh, we have a lot of berries and uh, we used to get out picking berries, uh, so we have uh, during our year uh, berries for our cereal at, uh, for breakfast. Um, this year is not the best uh, season uh, like yes, last year. Last year was a really good season for blueberries, uh, but uh, this year uh, is a bit more difficult. They're a little bit smaller and not as much as last year. But anyway, I thought that when I'm getting out, I bring my camera with me. When I'm looking for berries, uh, I'm very close to the ground, looking for all these small details. And I thought this might be a good uh, uh, opportunity to try out a bit. Uh, there's an insect on my lens. I'm not sure if you see it. Huh. Uh, I thought, anyway, I thought um, when I'm on the ground to see the details, I try out macro photography. That's something I almost never do or I never do. So uh, I'm not good at it. So, but I want to try it out and see uh, how it works. Uh, I have a 100 millimeter uh, 2.8 with me, a macro lens, which I'm using, and we will see. Uh, it's quite wet today. It has been raining. Oh, there were, sorry, there were, I just saw more berries. Uh, I've it's very wet because it's uh, have been raining during the uh, night, uh, but some raindrops might uh, give some nice, uh, nice uh, macro images too. We will see. So uh, now I think I had to go further and find more berries. It's uh, not very easy to uh, find blueberries, which are a little bit higher up. Most of the blueberries are uh, surrounded by so much vegetation that make it a little bit difficult to get a nice composition. And myself, I'm not very experienced with macro photography, so it makes it a little bit difficult. But uh, I found a few and uh, we will see how the images uh, look. Uh, the good thing with macro photography is that uh, uh, I try to find new uh, uh, angles and when I uh, try to find new angles I see more uh, blueberries because a lot of blueberries are behind some leaves you don't see uh, normally but when you are on the ground and uh, trying to find a uh, different angle for macro photography I find, um, find uh, new blueberries. That's good.
what the interesting day today. Um, I mostly never have done uh, macro photography. It's very exciting, uh, especially to look to all these small details around us. Uh, I, have, I really had fun. And a couple of minutes ago, uh, I had a small a butterfly and was able to do a few images of this butterfly. And I really hope they are sharp. Uh, I will uh, see it when I'm uh, back at the cabin and uh, looking at the big screen. Uh, I don't know really now how to do the settings, uh, so I do a lot of different uh, approaches. Sometimes I use, use aperture on uh, 2.8 and sometimes I went all the way up to 14 just to get a uh, uh, higher depth of field. Uh, so uh, that's uh, also what I want to look into when I'm looking through all my images, how the different images look like and uh, which setting uh, is my favorite. But absolutely, I will do it again. Um, I still um, like more uh, wildlife photography, finding animals and uh, taking pictures of them. But uh, this is something I absolutely uh, doing again. But now, um, you see, I have a few blueberries, but this bucket has to be filled. Uh, if it's not filled, Filled, so I won't get supper tonight this evening so it's time for me to get blueberry fingers mm -hmm. 